Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. Aaron Fitzgerald asks, Optimizing encoding and compression for YouTube still eludes me. What is the best method, codec, and magic formula to create a manageable sized file of a one to three minute HD video for faster upload to YouTube while maintaining decent resolution? Okay. Number one, YouTube always recompresses your video. Always. You cannot stop it from recompressing. YouTube will always recompress your video. That means that you want to feed it video at higher quality and larger file size than normal so that when it recompresses, it throws stuff away. So when we're compressing for YouTube, my recommendation is this. YouTube can deal with either an MPEG-4 movie or a QuickTime movie, and you can create this directly inside Final Cut or you can create it inside Compressor. If I'm creating it inside Compressor, I'll set a QuickTime movie setting, and when I go to, to uh, streaming, I don't optimize. I just leave that alone because it's going to go to YouTube. It's going to get recompressed. Audio settings, I'll set this to AAC, stereo, 48 kilohertz sample rate. This stuff is all just ducky as is. AAC is, is the best audio compression for, for the web today. Gives us small file sizes, gets us really good quality. And for video settings, We'll set this to um, H.264. And there's two different codecs here, H.264, which ships by Apple, and X.264, which is a public domain. They both arrive at the same spot. When I'm in H.264, leave the frame rate to current, let the keyframes be automatic, and I'm going to restrict my data rate to 4,000 kilobits a second. So. H.264, current frames per second, keyframes automatic, data rate restrict to 4,000 kilobits a second. And I'll go for best quality. You can do a debate with yourself and do a test. I tend to go with multi-pass. There are some that say that the quality is the same with single pass. Do a test for yourself. This is going to generate a file which is way too big to post to the web, but a perfect file for YouTube to recompress, because remember, it always recompresses it. So we're going to feed it an extra high data rate, and that's how I create a movie for YouTube. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.